Hey folks, it's me Brian, and this is what I'm drinking. Tonight, I'm having St. Barnabas Patter 6, which is a double styled Abbey Ale from Belgium. Now, according to the website for St. Barnabas uh, Beer, this Patter 6 is brewed according to the classic double style with a recipe that dates back to 1946. The name of the spear has become a reference for its style and is commonly referred to as Ein per Perteke? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I did a little search on the internet machine. I didn't even figure out what that meant. But anyway, this is a double style beer. Six point, uh, let's see, six point seven percent alcohol by volume. <clears throat> Forty five is the color on the EBC scale, and twenty five bitterness units. Shelf life of two years. Now, this uh, beer company has a lot of beers. I have currently in my house this this six, an eight and a 12, they also have a wit beer, they have a Christmas ale, they have a triple, they have a, uh, what do they also have? They have like an extra four, they call it. Uh, then they have like another triple, I believe. So they have a lot of beers in their lineup. I've only found these three thus far. In fact, there's a little story behind the six. The six I got at World of Beer, and it was pretty expensive. I haven't found this anywhere else, and they were like, hey, you know, this is like 14 bucks. I was like, oh my gosh, I better like it. So anyway, I picked it up. Um, you can get a four pack if it's available from Total Wine for 21, uh, but I only got the single, and it's pretty pricey. So let's crack it open, folks. So it is brown, it has a little bit of head, uh, white and foamy with bubbles. Uh, moderate carbonation. The uh, serving temperature is 8 to 12 degrees Celsius, which, you know, according to my math, is approximately around like 45 degrees through, you know, probably about 53, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a pretty warm uh, beer when you drink it. Let's see how it smells. Now it's supposed to have notes of fruit, trees it says uh it's not like any old brown beer uh it unties a deep flavor of specialty malt with the liveliness fruitiness of ripe tree fruits impressions of hazelnut and mocha lie at the basis of the mouthfeel which flows into an excellent yet playful duel between the mild taste of dark candy sugar and slightly toasted but dry green character plenty of apple and pear aromas make their magnificent presence fell all the way to the slightly bitter aftertaste. So that's the description I'm reading off my phone about this beer from the website uh, of the brewing company. Now, what do I smell? I, maybe I'm influenced by the description, but I do smell a little apple. Not necessarily pear. It's kind of pungent, it's kind of a strong aroma. Not really biscuity or bready. Hey, enough of the smelling. Let's check it out. Prost, my friends. So it's a medium body feel. My first impression of this is I do get some fruitiness from it, which is quite different from other doubles that I've had from Belgium. So it is unique in that aspect. And I'm picking up a lot of apple and I'm picking up like really grassy notes, like earthy grassy notes to the uh, underlying beer flavor. It does have a slight bitter aftertaste. However, you don't get a lot of uh, malty sweetness with this one. I get apple, I get a little bit of orange, but not really maltiness. I don't get dark candy sugar at all. No candied uh, malts or yeast or sugars or 
or anything like that in the taste profile for me at least so how would I rate this I'd give it a six and a half or seven out of ten this is not a bad beer but it's very uh, hard to find and very expensive so I downgrade it because of that because it's kind of like an ordinary tasting like ale with some uh, fruit like underlining tones which I think you can get with other less expensive and more uh, ubiquitous um, beers you don't have to go around an entire uh, region to find it so unfortunately I give this the thumbs down I don't think I'll get this again I definitely won't seek it out now there are some beers that I'll seek out if I find the La Trap quadruple again I'm gonna get it I will seek that out it's worth it but this is not worth seeking out in my opinion I'm glad you've joined me today as I drink this St. Barnardus 6 Patter 6 beer if you are a subscriber welcome back if you are new, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I got so many videos, so there's got to be other things that you like. And comment, have you had this beer before? If so, what's your impressions of it? Stay safe, stay sane, and I will see you later, folks.